Boys, we just had a new trailer drop on us, and this one's actually just for trials. If you have not watched this trailer, watch it right now. If you have, feel free to skip to the time on the screen. Welcome to the trials of Saints 14. Ha! <laughs> a joke. Here we go. You crushed them. They will not forget this fight. Welcome to the Lighthouse Guardian. Okay, great trailer. I think I'm starting to get a little desensitized, right? I've seen so many trailers in like the past six, seven days, but let's start breaking this down. First up, Trials is a 3v3 elimination mode. I know we got a lot of new light players in here, but it was the pinnacle PvP activity for Destiny 1 and even for Destiny 2 when it first launched. But when it launched with Destiny 2, it launched as a 4v4 mode and it was an elimination and it was in a double primary system. Needless to say, when Forsaken came around, Trials was canceled for over a year now. Some of us even questioned if it was ever gonna make a return, but it is and it's making a return in its old form. It's trials of Osiris form. It's 3v3 elimination form, which is why a lot of us are pretty hyped. But like I said in yesterday's video, trials, at least in my eyes, will not be golden unless we see adept weapons. And adept weapons were essentially the weapons that you see right here in front of you, but with the twist. Normally, intrinsically, there was a perk added to it that allowed for the weapon to be good only inside of like elimination or inside of trials. For previous weapons in the past, it was something simple like last resort. Resort. If you're the last fire team member left on your team alive, you gain like a boost to handling. And maybe a few other things, but I just can't remember. In Rise of Iron though, which was year three of Destiny 1, adept weapons back then intrinsically just came with snapshot. So it doesn't have to be a perk that allows you to be better in that activity. Just something there. Something to make the weapon slightly different and altered from the normal weapons you can get in Trials. And the normal weapons you can get from Trials, guys, if it's like it was back in year one, or even like how it was back inside of Destiny 1, you can earn trial weapons without actually having to go flawless. You can earn them through bounties, as just like RNG drops. Maybe getting like three or four wins could possibly drop them. Getting those weapons wasn't what made trials trials. To us, getting the adept weapons is what made you go in there week after week, because even if it was just one little small perk, like Snapshot, that and that cosmetic change were the two driving factors that made you go in there and dig your own eyes out to go flawless. All right, we've ranted enough. Now let's see if we can find the things that we want to see. First up, we see Guardians engaging in very organic ways. Oh, you got to love it though, man. We see the side shot here of the Scout Rifle, the Scholar, the Auto Rifle, the Summoner, and the Fusion Rifle, Exile's Curse. Again, these were actually year one Destiny 1 trial weapons. It's probably safe to say that eventually we will see the return of every trial weapon inside of Destiny 1 into Destiny 2. Now granted, this is going completely dependent on how successful trials will be this weekend and the weekends to come now this next frame oh fellas i think that's what it is i think that's it this looks like a dead weapons all right everything that i just said just now i think we're good okay had a minor freak out moment this has that sleek black style that is very similar to previous adept weapons. So yes, at least cosmetically, these are adept. Now granted, all of that's gonna go out the window if there is not a perk present here that makes these weapons unique. Because considering we can camouflage weapons anyways, people are just gonna scrap this, grab the ornament, and throw it on their weapon, right? Or at least that's what I'm thinking. Looking at the gear side by side, they're both glowing. So both indicating that the player went flawless, it's just different colors on either side. Now moving on, we see some maps that we're going to be playing Trials on. Yes, 
These are the popular Trials maps. This is exactly why Cauldron was brought back. Even Widow's Court. Like, I didn't even expect that. Bungie brought back Widow's Court in preparation for something like Trials. Anomaly as well. I will say there's one other Trials map that is going to have to be in rotation. Let me just give you what I think is going to be in rotation. I think Exodus Blue is going to be in rotation. Anomaly, Cauldron, Widow's Court, Rusted Lands. There's a few other D2 maps, like Javelin would be pretty decent. Maybe in something like Dead Cliffs. There's a lot of maps to rotate in. The only other map that Bungie is missing right now is Frontier. Now, I feel like people in the trial community are like split. Like 50% love this map. The other 50 don't like it. I did not like it originally. And then once I figured out how to play that bridge area, it turned into some pretty nasty weekends. Now, moving on, we have exclusive rewards. This is definitely Bungie's way of saying, hey, Adept rewards are making its return. And then we see this Titan right here. He's changing the look of the weapon, okay? I don't know what that's to indicate. I, I don't even know if the colors of these ornaments, going from red, gold, white, if there's just gonna be multiple levels of this. Like maybe if you go flawless so many times, you obtain a different color. Not sure. And it may just be completely RNG. Like you may just get a color every single weekend and it's just a different color. Now Bungie mentions right here, seven wins, no losses. Seven wins, no losses, which probably just means Bungie's removing the two boons that gave you a win and an extra win on your first win. So back inside of Destiny 1, you had to get nine wins and no losses, but the difference is you would just purchase these boons, which would actually just immediately add a win to your card. And if you got a win on your first win, that win would count as two. So technically, you started off with three wins, which can make for a very fast card. And on top of that, if it didn't work out for you and you got a loss on that first game, you could just scrap your card, buy a new one, buy new boons, and start over. I think this system would have thrown Destiny 2 off, considering that we have card-based matchmaking now. And if people were scrapping their cards constantly, we could run into some problems. Not only that, a lot of people back inside of Destiny 1 considering that we did have like win-based matchmaking, would scrap their card after two or three wins. And they were just shitters. They did this for a reason. They actually were just sitting there farming up their Trials ELO. Yes, people back then actually like to flex. Trials ELO wouldn't even go flawless. They would just get those games that are easy at the beginning of the card, farm out on people, destroy their card, rinse, repeat, start again, just to flex an ELO score that nobody even cares about. Now, something that's not been confirmed yet is whether or not we're gonna have a mercy boon. We know we're not gonna have the other two boons to give you a win, or at least I don't think so, because then that would make the card super, super fast. But a mercy boon, which actually shields you from your first loss, that's gonna be extremely important. Now we see some gameplay here of Dire Promise. Pretty sure that's Dire. This man throws a knife, ricochets it off, and lands it on the Titan. Poor guy. I also think this is that new sniper rifle that I've gotten a few rolls on. It's not bad. I still think I like apostate more. Moving on, we get told that the weekends are for the worthy. All oh, the wordplay, Bungie. The season of the worthy, you know what I mean? In this next clip on Rusted Lands, we see a lot of chaos occurring. Almost looks like they're going for a cat point. Bleeds into the next clip. We see the red ornaments there on the Titan glowing, showing off his flawlessness. But let me go ahead and just say this. Hold on. Let me just go ahead and say this. These ornaments, they look dope, right? You might not want to wear them. I know this is going to sound crazy, but many of us actually will rock colors that blends in a little more with our surrounding so if you play on a map like cauldron you go all black baby you do this purposely so it's harder for your enemies to pick up on you these ornaments though your enemies will see you immediately so i'm just saying if you want to look like a christmas tree go right ahead you'll be able to flex all day long but you'll also be sticking out we also see gameplay here of a dom blade versus a tether oh rest in peace that tether you know he didn't make it they didn't even show that death scene now Trials will be free for all players. Granted, you will have to be 960 light in order to play. I was really concerned about this. As with the launch of Season of the Worthy, light has been raised or a power level has been raised by plus 40 points. Considering that, getting to 960 is not really that difficult. We talked about it the other day when we went over cheaters. Burn accounts are actually being sold right now for $5. And here's how people do it. They'll sell like a Trials carry. They'll be like, hey, we'll take your account flawless for $25, just throwing a value out there. But then they'll be like, uh, $25 plus a $5 charge for the burn account. You see where I'm coming from? They'll just tack that charge in and get whoever it is they're carrying to pay for it. Now, granted, this puts them at no risk. The only person this really puts at risk are the people that are actually paying for these carries. For real, guys, it puts you at risk. Bungie picks up on that with their anti-cheat system that is in place. You will most likely be banned with whoever it is that is cheating and carrying you to the lighthouse, even if you're innocent and you're not doing anything and you're just sitting there. 
So if you do decide to sign the deal with the devil, just prepare yourselves. Now, just a few days ago, we actually got this on Reddit. Steam actually got an update. It stated, as of this update, PC client appears to be using Steam network sockets, which means your IP is now hidden from other players and you cannot be DDoS. This was actually posted on Destiny 2, the Reddit. There was other few posts on it as well. But yes, the TLDR, you can no longer be DDoS as your IP is hidden from other players in the game which means you don't need a VPN. Although I will say, if you still want to use a VPN, you might as well go ahead, you know? Sometimes you just want to double up. I will say, this is a big, big move. It is curious that this actually dropped the same week that Trials is dropping. So I wonder how much Bungie actually had influence on this. Regardless, that only solves only one type of cheater. And as you know, we covered all the different cheaters that you could possibly run into, which is going to require a good anti-cheat system to activate immediately. Now, the trailer continues with our Guardians dropping into Mercury, looking at Saint-14, and approaching all that beautiful, beautiful beautiful loot. I don't know what it is about the layout of Mercury. It's just not inviting, you know? A little too sunny. Which he was pretty sunny back in Destiny 1, but it was a little more inviting, right? You tell Osiris, man, he like got it inside of that cave area. Had that canopy, baby. Possibly a grill was burning. Hopefully, Saint 14 has got the place pretty spicy because it does make a difference, especially if you're like a person that's been working their butt off to go flawless and they finally go flawless. You want to make sure this room or this area is super sexy. So guys, that is our trials trailer. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Again, everything that we're speculating about, whether it's adept weapons, flawless loot, card layout, mercy boons, all of these things will finally be answered tomorrow. I'm almost tired of talking about it, but it will be here tomorrow. We'll probably have a guide like how to go flawless sometimes tomorrow afternoon. And also, Last Guardian Standing, yes, is making a return. Actually, I think we might have a video going out today. That's right, baby. We're going old school with it. D1 clips. So be prepared for that, guys. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.